The first time I ever saw this question, I thought I was falling for a trap because it, it's really, really easy. So, so let's look. I mean, there's a little bit of a story here, but a geologist needs to collect at least 67 samples of lava from a volcano. If the geologist has already collected 63 samples from the volcano, what is the minimum number of additional samples the geologist needs to collect? Well, if they have 67, or sorry, if they want 67 and they have 63, that means they need four more. That's it. That's literally the whole question. Now that really freaked me out because even for like the SAT and the PSAT, there's kind of a limit to how easy things can be. This is literally just telling us to subtract. I thought this was even way easier than it could possibly be for a question. So no offense if you got it wrong, but my my thing here was that it, it, it scared me. It felt like I was missing something. Um, but at the same time, this is question number three in the hard module. I think it's in the easy module as well. So it, it is going to be early on where we would expect the questions to be fairly straightforward. So another reminder for the general PSAT and SAT is in the math sections, the questions are generally in order of difficulty. So you don't really have to worry about traps in that first like 10 questions or so. It's generally just going to be the wrong answers are like common mistakes, not really like they're out to get you. It's when we get to the later half of the sections, the modules that we do need to worry about traps. So if this were in a different place, I would be more wary of it. But because it's number three, I'm just like, ah, all right, whatever. It's, it, it truly is that easy.